नमस्ते एंड स्वागतम वंस मोर टू दिस कोर्स ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू बेसिक स्पोकन संस्कृत वी हैव बीन लुकिंग एट डिफरेंट केसेस वी हैव ओनली सीन द सब्जेक्ट केस दस फार एज वेल एज द जेनेटिव केस इन टुडेज क्लास व्हिच इज द लेक्चर नंबर 10 वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द लोकेटिव केस सो दिस सेशन आई हैव कॉल्ड इट एज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द लोकेटिव और द सेवेंथ केस नाउ द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन आर द फॉलोइंग one would be to learn the forms and word endings for the locative case or the seventh case for the three genders uh, the nouns as well as the pronouns then to understand the different contexts in which it is used and finally i will introduce you briefly to the conjunctions and and also so moving on the definition for the seventh case which is known as a locative case or adhikarana karaka adhikarana means the location so it or which is also more simply known as the saptami vibhakti literally the seventh case so the locative case or the adhikarana karaka also the saptami vibhakti of noun form represents the where of the sentence in other words locative case represents the locative in the sentence all right so if i give you an example if i say the book is on the table where is the book on the table so the table is the location so the table will get the locative case and as you can see the first simple rule here and the most widely applied uh, uh, the most wide application of this particular case is as we have seen the word expressing the location of something or someone will be in the locative case for example in or on the table now the seventh case of the nouns is as follows chashakah asti hastah asti chashakah haste asti chashakah haste asti chashakah kutra asti chashakah kutra asti चषक हस्ते अस्ति चषक अस्ति चमस अस्ति चमस कुत्र अस्ति चमस चषके अस्ति चषक कुत्र अस्ति चषक हस्ते अस्ति चमस कुत्र अस्ति चमस चषके अस्ति सो द फर्स्ट केस इट इज द ग्लास इज ऑन द हैंड and in the second one the spoon is in the glass okay so hastah haste chashakah chashake now uh, in the in uh, for this particular case the masculine and the neuter behave in exactly the same way so i have here i have patram asti om asti om kutra asti om pat त्रे अस्ति ओम पत्रे अस्ति उत्तम देन यू हैव द वर्ड गृहम विच मीन्स द हाउस सो गृहे किम अस्ति और गृहे कह अस्ति हु इज देयर इन द हाउस गृहे अंबा अस्ति गृहे जन कह अस्ति हाँ सो गृहे और राइट we have seen now how this uh, the seventh case is used with the question kutra or where but this can also be used with the question kati how many so for example i have ekam dwe uh, trini chatwari pancha okay um, pancha and then i put them in the glass so i say chashake kati chamasaha santi चषके कति चमसाह सी चषके पंच चमसाह सी चषके पंच चमसाह सी सिमिलरली हस्त अस्ति हस्ते कति अंगुल्य सी हस्ते कति अंगुल्य सी हस्ते पंच अंगुल्य सी हस्ते पंच अंगुल्य santi we have uh, uh, mahabharate mahabharate kati pandavaha santi mahabharate 
कति पांडवा सी महाभारत पंच पांडवा सी कति कौरवा सी महाभारत शत कौरवा एक अधिक एक शत कौरवा सी कति वेदा सी चतुर्वेद सी उत्तम सो यू सी हाउ वी कैन यूज बोथ कुत्र एंड इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ कति वी कैन यूज द लोकेटिव के मूविंग ऑन लेट्स डू अ लिटिल प्रैक्टिस सो वी हैड चाशा कहा चाशा के एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू दिस एक्शन सो इफ यू कैन सी मी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्शन टू इंडिकेट दैट इन और राइट एंड देन योर ब्रेन विल रजिस्टर इट बेटर चाशक कहा चाशक के चमसा हा चमस से पुरुषा हा पुरुषे शिक्षक हा शिक्षक के वृक्षा हा वृक्षे मार्ग हा मार्गे नरा हा नरे बालक हा बालके जना हा जने छात्र हा छात्रे आपना हा आपने देश हा देशे सो यू मस्ट यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय छात्र हा छात्रे हियर्स वन एप्लीकेशन सो फिर छात्र हा अस्ति बुद्धि ही अस्ति बुद्धि ही कुत्र अस्ति बुद्धि ही छात्रे अस्ति और सत भावना गुड फीलिंग सत भावना कुत्र अस्ति सत भावना छात्रे अस्ति द स्टूडेंट हैज गुड फीलिंग्स और हैज गुड इमोशंस Moving on for the neuter case, we have phalam, phale, pushpam, pushpe, mitram, mitre, chitram, chitre, chalana chitram, chalana chitre, phal, uh, patram, patre, vastram, vastre, griham, grihe, nagaram, nagare, phenakam, phenake, vyajanam, vyajanne, dwaram, dware. So my question to you is. भवतः नगरे किम किम अस्ति व्हाट इज देयर देयर इज अ टूरिस्ट हु कम्स टू योर टाउन अ संस्कृत टूरिस्ट एंड मीट्स यू एंड सेस भवतः नगरे किम किम अस्ति व्हाट ऑल इज देयर इन योर टाउन सो ट्राई एंड आंसर दैट मम नगरे एंड देन व्हाट एवर इज देयर ओके सो सिमिलरली भवतः गृहे किम किम अस्ति एटसेट्रा ऑल राइट सो इन अ नटशेल पुरुषः पुरुषे अफलम फले नाउ लेट्स लुक एट सम फेमिनिन वर्ड्स हियर सो वी हैव द फेमिनिन व्हिच विल फर्स्ट बी स्थालिका स्थालिकायां पुष्पम अस्ति पुष्पम कुत्र अस्ति स्थालिकायां अस्ति माला अस्ति माला अस्ति माला स्थालिकायां अस्ति कुत्र अस्ति स्थालिकायां अस्ति सो स्थालिका स्थालिकाया माला मालायाम पेटिका पेटिकायाम सो वी हैव दिस इज अ टूथ पेस्ट बॉक्स हाँ सो द वर्ड फॉर टूथ इज दंत पेस्ट फेनक एंड द बॉक्स पेटिका सो दंत फेनक कुत्र अस्ति दंत फेनक दंत फेनक पेटिकायाम अस्ति दंत फेनक पेटिकायाम ऑल राइट पेटिका पेटिकायाम उत्तम नाउ फॉर द फेमिनिन ई फेमिनिन वी हैव कूपी कूप्याम कूपी अस्ति जलम अस्ति जलम कुत्र अस्ति कूप्याम अस्ति लेखनी अस्ति मशी अस्ति मशी इंक मशी कुत्र अस्ति लेखन्याम अस्ति उत्तम सो लेट्स लुक एट सम एक्सरसाइजेज ऑन दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो इफ यू सी द स्क्रीन नाउ वी हैव स्थालिका सो इफ यू शो द स्क्रीन हाँ वी हैव स्थालिका स्थालिका याम माला माला याम महिला महिला याम शिक्षिका शिक्षिका याम पेटिका छुरिका छुरिका याम बालिका बालिका याम पे वाटिका वाटिका याम पाठशाला पाठशाला याम छात्रा छात्रा याम कुंचिका कुंचिका याम लता क्रीप लता याम उत्तम सम ई एंडिंग वर्ड्स कूपी कूप 
ಪ್ಯಾಂ ದೂರವಾಣಿ ದೂರವಾಣ್ಯಾಂ ನಾರಿ ನಾರ್ಯಾಂ ಲೇಖನಿ ಲೇಖನ್ಯಾಂ ಅಂಕನಿ ಅಂಕನ್ಯಾಂ ಮಾರ್ಜನಿ ಮಾರ್ಜನ್ಯಾಂ ನರ್ತಕಿ ನರ್ತಕ್ಯಾಂ ಪುತ್ರಿ ಪುತ್ರ್ಯಾಂ ಪತ್ನಿ ಪತ್ನ್ಯಾಂ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಸಹೋದರ್ಯಾಂ ದ್ರೋಣಿ ಬಕೆ ದ್ರೋಣಿ ದ್ರೋಣ್ಯಾಂ ನದಿ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಟು ಯು ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಕಿಂ ಕಿಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಕಿಂ ಕಿಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಜಲಮಸ್ತಿ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ನೌಕಾ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ಸೊ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ವಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಶೆಲ್ ಹಾಂ ಶಂಖ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹಾಂ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾ ಸೊ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾಂ ಕಿಂ ಕಿಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ವಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾ ಟ್ರೈ ಸೊ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾಂ ಪೂರಿ ಪೂರಿಕಾ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಧುರಂ ಆರ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾಂ ಮಧುರಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇ ಮಧುರಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೆ ಸ್ಥಾಲಿಕಾಂ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಅ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಮಹಿಳಾ ಮಹಿಳಾಂ ನಾರಿ ನಾರ್ಯಾಂ ಉತ್ತಮ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಪಿಯೂಷ್ ಓವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ಅ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಡೆಮೋ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ದಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಕುಶಲಂ 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 ಭಾವ ಗೃಹ ಕುತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಮ ಗೃಹ ಕಾದ್ರಾ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಕಾದ್ರಾ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಕುತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಕಾದ್ರಾ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಮೇದಿನಿಪುರ ಮಂಡಲೆ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಮೇದಿನಿಪುರ ಮಂಡಲ ಕುತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಮೇದಿನಿಪುರ ಮಂಡಲ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಬಂಗೆ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಬಂಗ ಕುತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಬಂಗ ಭಾರತ ವರ್ಷೆ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅಸ್ತು ಇದೇ ಭಾವ ಪರಿವಾರ ಕಹ ಕಹ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಮ ಪರಿವಾರ ಪಿತಾ ಮಾತಾ ಅಹಂ ಅಪಿ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ತರಿ ಭಾವ ಪರಿವಾರ ಪಿಯೂಷ ಪರಿವಾರ ಪಿತಾ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಿಯೂಷ ಪರಿವಾರ ಅಂಬ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪಿಯೂಷ ಪರಿವಾರ ಸಹ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಪರಿವಾರ ಉತ್ತಮ ಭಾವ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಕಿಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಮ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಕತಿ ಛಾತ್ರಿ ತತ್ರ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಛಾತ್ರಿ ಕುತ್ರ ಸಂತಿ ಛಾತ್ರ ಮಮ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಛಾತ್ರ ಸಂತಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಖಡಗ್ಪುರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಛಾ ಛಾತ್ರಾವಾಸ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಛಾತ್ರ ಸಂತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಬಹು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಯು ಹೌ ಅ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನೌನ್ಸ್ what i want to introduce you next is to the pronouns and how they behave in the locative case so here we go so we have here aham aham uh, mahila mai daya asti or compassion so mai huh? so aham becomes mai thwam becomes thwai then as you can see on the screen bhavan becomes bhavati so you just have to be very careful because the next word for the feminine is bhavati so we have two again if you keep your eye on the screen you can see it is bhavati and bhavati so a little difference in the length of the vowel will completely change the meaning so sanskrit really demands this precision of pronunciation at every stage so we have bhavati asti which means in the man uh, sahasaha sahasam asti or courage bhavati sahasam asti and then we have the lady who is bhavati and in the seventh case it becomes bhavatyam like you can see on the screen so bhavatyam uh, saundaryam asti so this beauty in you so bhavatyam saundaryam asti uttamam 
in the third case of the pronoun what we find is that uh, it in the masculine and the feminine sorry in the masculine and the neuter it stays the same so we have tasmin so if we talk of uh, the if we talk of the room huh? so saha prakoshtaha tasmin asandaha santi so in that room there are many chairs tasmin asandaha santi etc okay and then you have the eshaha or etat which also get the etasmin huh? etasmin and then you have the question so again if you look at the screen you have kaha or kim gets kasmin so the question would be kasmin prakoshthe asandaha santi kasmin prakoshthe asandaha santi and the answer would be e tasmin prakoshthe asandaha santi or tasmin prakoshthe asandaha santi okay so moving on let's just do a few exercises for that so we have chashakaha uh, or patram asti and then pushpam asti so chashake pushpam asti or patre pushpam asti similarly we say put pushpam kutra asti answer pushpam chashake asti or pushpam patre asti next when you combine the noun along with the pronoun we have saha chashakaha asti or tat patram asti and then we say tasmin chashake or tasmin patre pushpam asti you can never have a sentence which says saha chashake pushpam asti so again if you keep looking at the screen we have uh, you can never say saha chashake it will have to be tasmin chashake to let the listener know that the pronoun is being used along with that particular noun so tasmin chashake moving on we see the question so patre kati pushpani santi or chashake kati pushpani santi answer patre or chashake ekam pushpam asti so we have looked at the seventh case uh, for third person for the masculine and the neuter words uh, for the pronoun so now let's look at what happens in the feminine case so we have sa which is far sa becomes tasyam sa tasyam esha which is near becomes etasyam uttamam what will it become etasyam and then the question ka will become kasyam so if you had to ask in which box is the food kasyam petikayam bhojanam asti so the question is kasyam petikayam bhojanam asti and the answer would be in that box tasyam petikayam bhojanam asti so now we'll move on to the feminine cases and there we have the uh, the case where you say phalam kutra asti phalam sthalikayam asti similarly phala rasaha which is fruit juice kutra asti phala rasaha kupyam asti uttamam now sthalika kutra asti or kupi kutra asti the next word is utpitika utpitika is the table so utpitika utpitikayam asti now you need not repeat thalika utpitikayam asti it's understood okay but you need to definitely practice the utpitika utpitikayam asti uttamam now the question is kasyam utpitikayam asti in which or on which table is it the answer tasyam etasyam utpitikayam asti uttamam so uh, another for the case of the informal you can use this uh, this uh, particular case as daya kutra kutra asti so what you would notice here is that we have a doubling of the word kutra which means where 
So you can say, where, where is there? Where all is there compassion? This is a very typical feature of the Indian languages where there is a doubling of words that takes place. In English, it would sound very strange if you say, where, where is there uh, compassion? But it is done in the Indian languages. So, daya kutra kutra asti, daya mai asti, thwai asti, bhavati asti, bhavatyam asti, nare asti, mahilayam asti, naryam asti, mitre asti. Now, if I put them all in one sentence, it will be daya mai thwai bhavati bhavatyam nare mahilayam. Narya Mitre Cha Asti. So the cha means and and it comes at the end of the sentence very often. Okay. You can find it in the middle also at times, but somehow in the Sanskrit sentence construction it tends to figure at the end of things. Alright. And moving on, uh, the question is Twai Bhavati. So in you, in him, uh, sorry, in you informal, in you formal masculine bhavati in new feminine uh, formal form bhavatyam ke ke gunaha santi what are the qualities in you answer mai sadbhavana dhairyam santoshaha cha santi uh, so cha santi and then you can add mai shraddha api asti so the api means also mai shraddha api asti now let's move on so just see the grammatical rule there so it says the word uh, this is the second one it says the word expressing the time of action in response to the question on verb as when will be in the locative so for example i ask the question uh, that follows is kada the question is kada and you say bhavan or bhavati or thwam kada pathati or pathasi accordingly. So, bhavan kada pathati, when do you study? Or thwam kada pathasi, supposing you study at 5 o'clock in the evening, you would say aham pancha vadane pathami, aham pancha vadane pathami. Then at 5.15, you go to play, bhavan kada kridati answer aham sapada panchavadne kridami so just for our practice sardha panchavadana will become sardha panchavadne uh, padona shadvadanam padona shadvadne at 10 o'clock dashavadne kada bhojanam karoti bhavan or bhavati answer aham Nava vadane bhojanam karomi. Uttamam. Or whichever other time, now that you are familiar with the different ways of saying the time, you can say it as uh, per your own schedule. So, we have another application of this rule is that if a comparison in a group is being made, then the word expressing the group will be in the genitive or alternatively in the locative case. So, we have seen this example before where we had Vrikshanam Narikelaha Shreshtaha, where Vrikshanam was the plural of the sixth genitive. So Vrikshasya, 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 Vrikshasya became Vrikshanam. In this case, we have Vrikshe, 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 Vrikshe. In the plural becomes Vrikshesu Narikelaha Shreshtaha, which means among the coconut, among the trees, the coconut is the superior tree, huh? is the greatest. Similarly, now we will do this example with the other wo words that are there. So, kridaka in the plural or kridake in the plural will become kridake shu sachinaha shreshtaha. So, sachin tendulkar is the best of the uh, players. Next, phalam, phale, 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 phale becomes phale shu swadishtam amra phalam, which means the mango is the tastiest of the various fruits. Then you have in the feminine, so gaika in the plural becomes gaika su. So just draw your attention to this small uh, detail. 
we see that for the sixth case in the plural the gender does not matter. So, you have Riksha Nam and you have Gaika Nam. But in the, in the feminine of the uh, locative case, there is a slight difference in pronunciation and in the form. So, Vrikshesu becomes Gaika Su. Okay. And then you have Gaika Su, Lata Mangeshkar or Lata Shreshtha. Moving on to Nadi, we have Nadi, Nadi Nam or Nadi Shu, Vishala Ganga. Nadi Shu, Vishala Ganga. The fourth rule is that if verbs meaning trust, fondness, love, anger, worship are used, then the person in whom such trust or fondness is shown will be in the locative case. So we have here, for example, Janakaha Putre Snihyati. The father loves the son, very literally, or the father has love in the son. Got that? Janakaha Putre Snihyati. Next, you have trust in me or in a friend. Thwam mai vishwasihi. Vishwasihi is actually the trust. It's a request or an order. So, trust in me or trust in your friend. So, thwam mai vishwasihi or thwam mitre vishwasihi. Got it? Or if I want to say trust in your father, thwam janake vishwasihi. Uttamam. The next one is Amba is Ambayam Bhaktim Kuru. So, have devotion in your mother will be Ambayam Bhaktim Kuru. So, got that? Next, another rule because these are, uh, these are rules that are uh, a little more specific. So, they are not exactly part of the basic Sanskrit, but I am putting them out for you so that you are at least familiar with the different contexts in which they are used. So, you have here. When the action of one results in the action of another, then the thing whose action occurs first will be in the locative case. For example, the sun rises and the lotus blooms. They are a cause and effect in a sense. So, Surye Udite Padmam Vikasati. Surye Udite Padmam Vikasati. Got that? Moving on. The next one is that if a the sixth rule is that if a part of a body is held separately, when the word expressing the part will be in the locative case or rather then the word expressing the part will be in the locative case. So, if somebody holds your hand and makes you sit down, then it will be kare dhritva mitram maam upaveshayati. Kare dhritva mitram maam upaveshayati. All right. But like I said, these are more specific cases, so I'll quickly go over them, and you will at least have a familiarity with this uh, use. So, as we do in every session, we end with a subhashita. So, this particular subhashita is a very nice one. It says, "The poison of a snake, takshakasya visham, kutra asti, dante asti." Then, makshika is a fly. So, makshika yaha visham. Kutra asti, where is the poison of a fly? Mukhe asti. The scorpion, vrishchikasya visham kutra asti, pucche, huh? in the tail. So, vrishchikasya visham pucche. And for a bad person, where is the poison? Sarvange durjanasya tat. Tat here refers to poison. So, I will say it, I will just translate it for you entirely and then I will recite it and ask you to recite after. The poison of the snake is in its tooth, the poison of the fly is in its mouth, the poison of the scorpion is in its tail, of a bad person it is in all limbs. Alright, and now I uh, will recite it for you, recite after me and then we will do it together. Takshakasya visham dante Makshikaya mukhe visham, vrishchikasya visham pucche, sarvange durjanasya tat. Great. Now, can we recite it together? 
ತಕ್ಷಕಸ್ಯ ವಿಷಂ ದಂತೆ ಮಕ್ಷಿಕಾ ಮುಖೆ ವಿಷಂ ವೃಶ್ಚಿಕಸ್ಯ ವಿಷಂ ಪುಚ್ಛೇ ಸರ್ವಾಂಗೇ ದುರ್ಜನಸ್ಯ ತತ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಬಿವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯುವರ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟಿನೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ವೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನಫ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಎಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೊಟೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಗಾಂಬ್ರಿಕ್ ಹು ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಚೇರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ದೇ ವರ್ that the vast array of sanskrit texts preserves for us a valuable part of the cultural heritage of mankind including much beautiful literature and many interesting even fascinating ideas so take up this key master it and you will have access to that vast treasure house of knowledge that we have dhanyavadah